How's it going everybody? It's Rosine here for Astrophysography and today is Tuesday the 29th of December. Wow, what a year 2020 has been, hasn't it? What a strange, bizarre year, random turns of events. Who could have predicted any of this? But, you know, the sky suddenly cleared up tonight. It was cloudy and it's just miraculously crystal, crystal clear now. And, you know, I thought I'd just take it easy threw the rig out real fast, just taking it easy tonight. It's a full moon, the last full moon of 2020. So that's what I'm shooting tonight. Seems like this year had one final surprise in store. Luckily this one was a good one. So yeah, I just thought I'll get the ATED out and the um, 071 MC Pro. I wish I could shoot at native 600mm, but I don't have enough extenders to actually get this to native focal length and focus on the moon, unfortunately. So it is reduced and it is making it a bit smaller in the frame, but you know what, I'm going to take what I get, beggars can't be choosers. But yeah, I don't usually do lunar work, so you know, I tried to do high magnification lunar work and it's kind of been hit or miss. But this one's nice wide lunar, it's very forgiving. And I think I actually figured out the contrast assist focus aid in, in um, shot cap as well. So wind's there, giving that one a shot tonight. So let's hop onto the computer and let's see what we're working with. So this is what was going on about earlier, because I've had to use the reducer. It's a lot smaller in the frame. I've got a lot of dead space around it. I could probably use binning or region of interest, but you know, I want to use the full resolution for a reason. Even if I have to crop in the end, I guess. That sort of defeats the object. Bit of passing cloud, unfortunately. But I'm going to still take 2,000 frames, for example. An error has occurred. Oh, I bet. Ah, that's a shame. I was trying to show you my settings, but... It's a big patch of cloud just passing by. It was meant to get cloudy again in the evening. So let's try to get something. Try to take 500 frames just to show you something. So I'm going to have to bump up a bit here because of these clouds. I'm just going to get 500 frames here. Slightly overexposed. <clears throat> So that's a big patch that suddenly appeared. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but unfortunately this isn't the kind of high quality entertainment I wish to show you. You know, as annoying as clouds are... No, I have nothing for that, they're just really annoying. <laughs> but even so, I did get some frames, so I will hopefully have some image to show you at the end of it. But... I mean, what I normally try to do is just keep a nice, not too bright. Like, that is probably the limit, and that's overexposed. I was shooting about three milliseconds earlier. <clears throat> but of course, I'm going through cloud now, so it's difficult to show you. What I would usually do is set my exposure. Like I said earlier, I was doing three milliseconds because I wasn't shooting through thick cloud. And then I just ran up this quick capture and shot off a thousand, two thousand frames, which I'll put into the software, stack them up, and edit them. And hopefully I'll have a nice nice image to show you at the end of this. You know, I don't think anyone can deny what a strange year 2020 has been, and it has been an extremely strange year, right? But I think it's very easy to dwell on the negatives that's happened this year. I think it's possibly harder to look at possible benefits of this year. Just to name a few, I think a lot of us have found ourselves spending more time at home. Hopefully that's for the better. But that means you could have rekindled relationships with your family, spent more time with your family, indulged in new hobbies, took some well-needed 
rest and respite and took some care of yourself. I think in this modern age, a lot of us don't take the time for the self-care. I know I don't sometimes. Also, there's general astronomical things that's happened this year. We've had two comets, Atlas and Neowise, and like, you know, just other things going on. If you're able to turn your thinking, you can see the positives in a situation. This year has been difficult. My partner has struggled greatly this year, and I'm sure a lot of you have. I try to keep this kind of real world stuff disconnected from my channel, but I think it's important at the closing of 2020 to take some time and reflect on all this. And you know what? One comforting thing about this hobby is, no matter what's going on in the world, you can always come outside on a clear night, look up at the stars, look up at the cosmos, and realize that you're a part of something much bigger and much greater than yourself. And especially on clear full moon nights like this, you know that that moon's gonna be there and other people are gonna be looking at it. In one night, in one moment, you could be connected with millions of other people all sharing a same moment as one another, taking a bit of awe-inspiring, like taking some awe-inspiring view in or a moment of respite, or a moment of, of relaxation and meditation or zen, looking at the moon, looking at a nebula, looking at a galaxy, taking photos of it. And I think that's an incredibly comforting thing to realize. A lot of new people have found this hobby this year. And if you're one of them, let me know down below. If you are new to the hobby because of circumstances of this year, let me know. And really, Thank you for being with me in 2020. What a year, hey, what a year. If you're a long-term follower, thanks for sticking around. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your time here. Here's to 2020 and all the best for 2021. I will see you in the new year. All the best. Keep looking up. Keep them cameras clicking. I'll see you later. Thank you.